So this is our conversion. Uh, we've spent two beautiful weeks in the car. Hi guys, uh, it's a beautiful summer day and we just came back from a two week vacation uh, which we spent in this beautiful hotel. I thought I'd take time and show you guys how I converted it and how it works. So let's have a look. So the entire build took me about uh, roughly 24 hours. Uh, it's kind of sketchy because I use just uh, second hand materials I could find around the shop. So there's literally everything used. There's plywood, there's MDF, there's everything. But it kind of works. So there's our first drawer. We use it as a camping table as well. Then you remove the top and there's our pens and pots, silverware and as well as some supplies which we've got left and so close this one and there's our second drawer uh, which contains a two burner stove uh, which runs over propane we've got a propane tank on the other side of the car I'm gonna show you later and we had some supplies in here as well um, there is a special place for oil so it doesn't spill everywhere and that's kind of it, so let's come have a look around. So we are the front of the car. Uh, you can see support for our bed here. Uh, it also acts as a uh, storage compartment. Uh, you can see it's kind of divided into two sections and we've been storing everything here. Our clothes, our sleeping bags, our water. This is a 10 liter tank as well as the propane which you can see here it's connected to the burner and you can see there's a lot of room underneath the drawers as well uh, there is our bed i'm gonna show you how we prepare it um, we have our seats um, fully forward <coughs> there's our mattress which is five centimeters thick um, it's kind of enough so we just have to move it a little bit to the back, like that, and then I just grab this piece of cloud, and there we go. Now we take the mattress, and there is your bed, nice and cozy. Um, it's two meters long and one meter wide, uh, which is kind of enough for two. You have to sleep close together. And there's also some room above your head. It's not too much, but uh, it doesn't get claustrophobic. Uh, so we've got blinders for the windows, of course, uh, so that people can see us sleeping. Um, they are white, which is not the perfect color. Black or dark blue would be much, much better. Uh, but yeah, that's what we found at home. Uh, these are pins uh, which hold the blinders up. Uh, I don't know what you call them in English actually, but you can buy them of course in your office supply store. And you just uh, take this and slide it underneath uh, the roof here. And it works actually really well. Uh, it holds up just like that. I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. If you have any suggestions, so what should we do better? What should we improve, change? Uh, please let us know in the comments. And if you liked it, um, give us thumbs up and have a good day. See you guys.